What's up StarCraft fans, you are watching a co-op mutation, I am CTG and we are doing Assembly of Vengeance on Temple of the Past. I am playing this time as Dehaka, my masteries are Devour Healing Increase, Pack Leader Active Duration, and Dehaka Slappy Speed. My ally, Yuri Prime, played as Abathur, so uh, full disclosure, we, we will be, be playing on a custom map and that is as much as I am allowed to tell you. So. While waiting for the loading screen, well, no loading screen, a <laughs> huge thank you to Neo Metal who's supporting me in the Pulse Cannon tier, and thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Yeah, so, uh, we had Heroes of the Storm, all attack waves will be led by Heroes, and Avenger, the enemies can get stronger uh, whenever we kill their buddies. So, this is basically Avengers Assemble, <laughs> based on the title, and yeah, this is pretty hard when which is why we are forced to, to use this. The advantages of this of using this custom map are we are able to pick out the enemy race, enemy composition, and uh, the the uh, attack pattern type. We can pick out whether it's the ground hybrid or the air hybrid version. So yeah, it's it gives us a lot of advantages, which is why this, this will not count as an official run. However, it's really hard to uh, to get a good to get a good video, so we're, I'm forced to do this basically just to have content out for today. All right, let's start. So I start with drones. Same as my ally. The war against Amon rages, commanders. His forces descend upon Our strategy here will be to charge down the middle to fall, and camp the spawns to allow my ally and myself to get biomass and essence. Will My build is Extractor at 20 supply, and I'll start a, uh, a Primal Warden, or a Primal Barracks at 20 supply also. There we go. Saturate that gas as soon as it's available. And as soon as the Hawk arrives, I'll rush to I the middle. Live. Yeah, I'll basically charge down and uh, hope that I can tank these cannons, which I can. So my ally is going to plant on toxic nests and I'm going to wait around here. Instead of attacking the probes, I'm going to let my ally detonate the toxic nest on the probes so that he can get the, the essence. There we go. Because uh, whenever my ally uses toxic nests to kill probes or to kill enemies, he gets more biomass out of it. Selected apparently. Oh well. Invading these guys into the toxic nest, so the ally can detonate them by you by uh using or by switching off the autocast manually. So by waiting around, I'm helping my ally break down the rocks. So this is basically a rock slapping, but. An ethical kind of rock slapping because I'm helping helping my ally break through and they literally have no other units we need to we need to rush to this area which is why we, we need all the firepower we can get to bring this down you can see since we already camped this area and any anyway, by the way is uh, gateway composition uh, Abathur loves his composition because he has so much biomass to work with cluster targeted for attack so we'll have to, uh, yeah, the heroes spawn way out in front. They just spawn out in front, so uh, those are separate, separate spawn from the units, which means it's now a lot harder to camp, to spawn camp the enemy. So we are bringing Rainer down. And once he is down, my, my ally is going to follow me. I'm going to lead the way. I just hope we have enough. We have enough to tank. There we go. Ab Ally uses mend again. So while while this is happening, we are I am building my infrastructure. This is the usual build. Just uh, rush out, rush out the primal the primal uh, dens. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's that's a thing. Anyway, my ally is rushing up to a uh, a spire. An infestation pit. The spire is to get the mutilisks for the leviathans. 
whereas his view units will be the swarm hosts that are enabled by the infestation pit. Breaking down, or we are bursting down Tychus. Down he goes. I'm using four workers to saturate the gas. Because I get slightly more out of it. Because this is a far gas. So use the fire thing. We want to take these out quickly. So we don't have to worry about uh, them shooting back at us later on. We're able to camp that area whenever we want. And now that I have my infrastructure on it, it's actually okay for me to uh, yeah, start feeding the Haka to bring him back. So we are rushing back here. Our allies are in combat. We're getting ready to, uh, to camp the next spawn. I take those gases and start the workers. Use another fire thing from Glevig to burst us down. <laughs> the Haka versus the Haka. The thing is, the Haka is now able to eat the Haka. And that's weird because that is the only... The, the fake the Haka is the only hero that the Haka can actually eat. <laughs> he can't eat anyone else, not even Raynor. It'd be nice if we can even at least eat Nova. She hits very hard. Because she has nuke and snipe. And those are the reasons why. Those are, the, those are the reasons why I prefer to eat Nova. If nothing else. Not 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 even kind of the psionic buff. Just you know, just to take out the nuke. So I'm gonna use Murbar here. This north side is already clear, characters of Glovig and the Blumisks. And I'm gonna clear out this uh, the southeast side using Murvar. By the way, I would love to do this live. I really do. But this is way too hectic of a mutation. It took us about... Well, it took us a few tries just to get this one right. And uh, yeah, it's quite tiring to do while talking. So apologies, I'm not able to do this live. Now the crud is out. Just leap across. A void thrasher has been annihilated. Making my over my way over to the southeast side so I can camp this location while my ally is camping the north, the northwest with his brutalisks. Okay. Well I'm actually making my way down southwest. <laughs> oh yeah, to get the essence. That is a, that's actually something I want to do. Before the enemy waves hit. So something else here. I'm making uh, I'm making four Prowl Barracks for my units, but instead of going for the Creeper Hosts, I will go for the classic Tribal Hosts. Because I'm going to use these to tank. The tank versus the uh, the Nuke. I'll use the Crun. <laughs> yeah, he just eats himself, or his fake version at least. That is a pretty cool line, death to the weak. Alright, now we're waiting for the 10 minute wave. My ally on the other hand is capping this with toxic nests. It's exactly what he wants to do. We sense the hybrid. Fortunately, the Devour wasn't cooled down because I devoured a hero. So yeah, it's gonna have a long cooldown. But here comes Nova. Here comes Nova. Extremely dangerous when she's trying to focus her down. Ignoring the hybrid even. Listen, try and do as much damage to Nova as possible. See, they bring down the Krun almost effortlessly. So I use the worms and the creeper host to try to distract them. Yeah, see? Nova is using the nuke on the, on the locusts. This is good. This is exactly what I want to do. And these hit hard. We can actually help bring down Nova. Another volley. We try to hit another volley. Just try to send, send volley after volley of them. And they use Glevig to use another fire thing. Burst down these enemies. 
trying my hardest to retreat to Ludwig before before he gets sniped down apparently yeah you can see Nova Nova snipes hit super hard they bring down Glevic quite fast Detecting a nuclear launch. all right just you say just try my best to hold on I try my best to snipe Nova before before she gets too many hits off okay now for the next enemy here that hits super hard Zagara Zagara does have, a lot, does have a lot of firepower and, uh, and tons of health. There we go with Alice health. We finally bring her down. They do not We're pushing down the middle. They will die. You can see my allies, my allies tossing us are super good here. Whereas I'm just basically just trying to hold on with my, with my uh, keeper hosts, or my primal hosts rather. Allies Brutus are taking care of uh, Kerrigan. That's a, that's, a, that's a nice use to devour. These speed heights are a good use to devour. So I, yeah, I, I need to devour the high templar. Allies using his uh, his Brutus to distract the the Void Thrasher so it doesn't do damage to the temple. It's still 3000 health. I love temple 3000 health. <laughs> Phyllis finish on this wave and now I deep tunnel over here to start bringing down these buildings. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna devour the uh, war presence because they are psionic units and they do give me a magic fart. Okay. Yeah, so we're bursting these down, and my ally is already capping this area for when the uh, attack wave spawns. Are we just finishing this off? There it is. Oh, a bit, a bit off center, but it's fine. So apparently, this uh, this drop wave does not contain heroes. So that's a uh, that's a that's a little boost. Yeah, I just need the, I just need the uh, the war prisms. To give myself the magic part to destroy these dudes. There we go. I'll just keep keep uh, keep devouring these uh, these war prisms. Now I go back here. Next wave will be the uh, the the uh, warp in. I drop a I drop a, lo a layer of uh, locusts there. I try and burst them down, but they seem persistent on taking down my my creeper Our hosts. Allies are in combat. Okay, Ali's now clearing the bonuses. Whereas I'm waiting for the void thrasher. The enemy is warping in I use I'm using I use another volley of uh, locusts to bring these down. All right. And we bring down the Void Thrasher very easily with my allies, uh, Leviathans and Brutalisks. Some bits are really good guys. All right, now I'm making my way back. Try and uh, predict where the next wave will spawn. It is good. I'm getting, I'm getting all my uh, my pack leaders ready. At least we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of firepower, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to kill the uh, the waves with. Okay, now I'm trying to take care of the last bonus. Not sure if I will in this in this round, but yeah, I am I am trying to burst it down with volley after volley of my. Uh... Our allies are in yeah, you can see the this map, this custom map also has the the callouts when your top bars are ready. Again, this is why this is why it's not considered an official run. This is just a video run, <laughs> you know, just our videos. I devoured the High Templar. To give myself the psionic, uh, the magic fart. I'll kill most of these. Now I use. I use Mervar. Take those down. Uh, 
Alright. Now Karax. This is pretty lucky. This is pretty lucky. That uh, that Karax spawn. Because these uh, these these primal hosts are not gonna set a chance for if for example Nova spawned, she's gonna just nuke them all and incinerate my whole army. Good thing that didn't happen. Yeah, we're gonna finish this off. Now this uh, next wave will be over here. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is be here to finish off the war prisms and collect the uh, collect the essence. Whereas my army will be over here. Evolution yeah, so we're gonna split off. We're gonna split off our forces. We're gonna split off our our, our forces, our primal hosts, or my primal hosts, to be specific. As I'm waiting for Dhaka's cooldown. The enemy is warping in reinforcements. Use a volley of uh, of locusts there, and the crud to keep him busy. Okay, now now I'm able to be tunnel back. Okay, next we will be here. Okay, there's Kagan. We, we definitely we definitely need something to uh to take care of that. The brutalisks are a good option. All right. Next wave will be next wave will be here. Yeah, we're just burning these. And now the last drop, the last last warp in will be randomized. The enemy is warping in reinforcements. Yeah, I spawned in the north, so we killed them off with our locusts. There we go. Now we're making our way down to the south uh, southeast to cap the uh, the void thrasher spawn. The temple's activation is nigh. Because my ally is just collecting the biomass. It, it keeps time. dropping biomass over here because this is where the enemy spawn. Yes, we will. Okay, we're already here. It seems we will have to deal with more than okay, I'm gonna eat a, uh, an Archon. Because that's the only I can see. And then smash down the rest of these. And I'll wait for the hero. As I burst down this, uh, this Void Factor. Oh Zagara, ooh! Good thing it only hits four of my units. Uh oh, that's gonna smash that's gonna smash a lot of my units. Uh oh. Well the good news is I'm able to burst down the uh I'm able to burst down Zagara pretty quickly and I do have gas. I do have uh resources in reserve to remax. My ally on the other hand is taking care of our Tannis. Yeah the the, the, the vipers here are using disabling cloud. To prevent it, to prevent Otanis from attacking, that is quite uh, that's quite helpful. Okay, I use Glebic here to help burst down the hybrids. Whereas I'm also down south here to uh, keep uh, keep sending wave after wave of locusts to distract the enemy. There's Karax. Good news is it is Karax, not Zagara, not Nova. Okay, I use I put uh, the Haka back here. So I'll push down the last waves. I eat that I eat that hybrid just to uh, just to keep them off my my storm hosts, my primal hosts. Here's the last wave. Bad news is uh, devour is on cooldown. However, I will uh, I will be able to destroy this. All right. There's a wave. Uh oh. Arrest the Gara. Okay, I can't burst her down. There we go. Down she goes. And now I have creeper hosts here to uh, to help prevent the wave from getting to the uh, getting to the objective. And there's one last thing to do because this bonus has not been cleaned up yet. If this is a full clear. I love Temple 3000 health. <laughs> You can see the disabling clouds in the uh, the body block are preventing them are preventing Artanis from uh, from doing more damage. 
And yeah, we're just making our way up here. Try to finish this off. To get the full clear. And full temple health. Our the there it is. Alright. That is game. This is, this is a hard one, guys. I recommend Zeratul for this one. Zeratul and Stetman. <laughs> As all things should be. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. See you.